Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to go through how to test your SVG files in Silhouette Studio before selling them on Etsy. And if this is your first time here to the channel, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. This keeps me motivated to continue making these videos for you and also getting any feedback as well on what you would like to see. So I did create this video today and the next one that is about to show up for Cricut um, based off of some feedback from somebody on my Facebook group. So if you haven't done that, go on over to Facebook, join my group. I'm trying to develop a community of like-minded individuals who'd like to make passive income through selling digital downloads, whether that be on Etsy or other platforms. So I went ahead and posted on one of the groups I'm a part of for people to go ahead and um, shoot me some of their designs. Um, keep in mind, I have no idea what these are going to turn out to be like. And I also have a few test files that I created in Inkscape really quickly just to show you some differences that are very critical when creating your files. Okay, Especially when you're getting into more intricate layered designs where people are going to have to be making crazy cuts. Um, so uh, I'm, I have Silhouette open right now and I have these test files open. So I have used, um, this is the Hello Wedding font, okay? Um, this text here is going to show up fine because I have this font loaded in my program. If somebody does not have this Hello Wedding font loaded into their program, this will not show up at all if it is not converted to a path. You will see that in the Cricut video. <clears throat> This text is not unionized or welded, as it's called here in Silhouette Studio, as well as Cricut. Um, and this is unionized. So when you go to send for the machine, you can see that the non-unionized path, and let me just zoom in there, is going to cut out pieces of your letters, which you do not want. Whereas the unionized piece will cut out a smooth cut, okay? So this can sometimes be named different things depending on what program you're using. Um, generally, I will see union, uh, weld, union and weld are the two things that I normally see. Um, so depending on what program you're using, you want to make sure that you're welding your text to make sure um, that is a smooth cut or else you're going to have some pretty angry customers. OK, um, let me go back to the files here. I can close out of this one now. And this one, I just wanted to show you um, what different things look like. OK, so I just did two circles here. These two are overlapped. I did not do a subtract. These two are unionized so that I welded them together. And these two, I just created a difference or a subtract between the two and added on a duplicate so I did not lose the shape. Now, when I click on send for this one, you'll see that the unionized one will cut out in one shape. The difference with a duplicate will actually separate the shapes, which is probably what we're going for if we're layering. And if you take that away, you can see that you can cut them both out separately. And this overlap without a subtract are the two shapes that are going to cut out. If you drag this one out here, it's not taking anything away from that background. OK, so that could be a problem. You really have to think about these things when you're designing your files. OK, so I purchased from about six shops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pause the video and I'm going to open up all the files and we're going to go through each one. So I'll be right back. The first file that I have open is from Donkey Creek Designs and they've been on Etsy since 2018 and have made over 11,000 sales, which is fantastic. And if you go down here, um, they do have a bunch of different sublimation files and some digital cutting designs as well. So I had gone through and purchased this um, Autumn Vibes uh, SVG here and one other one. I'm not going to scroll around to go and try to find it, but um, you can see these files look very clean, that she has very good branding, her logos here, um, you know, things, things of that nature. I'm not going to go through all that right now, but here's the first file. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to click on ungroup and see what happens. Okay, so when I ungroup it, I get both. And then let me see if I can pull this away if she subtracted it. She did not. Okay, so this will be interesting. I will say normally when I do an overlay, 
I will take this and I will subtract it from this background. So I'm going to send this and we're going to see what it looks like like this. And then I'm going to see if it makes any difference. I don't think it will. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> so this file would irritate me, um, purchasing because I have to do a little bit of work here. All right. Um, it looks like her text is welded, so that's good. But because she did not subtract from that back design, um, you got to do a little bit of work, right? So to do that, I have to take this and select this and I have to click on subtract all. That's going to keep the wording here on top and it's not going to make that disappear. Now when I click send, I should get a, a clean cut through on both. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So that's what I need. Um, this one would be a little bit tough to cut on the machine. Um, some of these lines are very thin, but overall, um, not too bad. I would just say that um, you might want to go back and edit this file to do that because when people layer, <laughs> normally what they do, and I'll post a video up, up above about layering, is they'll create like two squares here and separate the designs and then cut and then they'll lay um they'll they'll line those the squares up together. So overall, good shot. Um, that would not work for me on the silhouette because uh, I had to put a little work in, but um, aside from that, everything else looks very clean. So this is the second file from the same shop. And I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup and see what happens there. I presume I'll be able to pull this out. Okay. So you can see when I pull this out, the lines are actually subtracted. So this one should be okay. Um, let's see what happens when I click on send. Yep, totally gorge. Okay. So she did the right thing here. Um, by subtracting the pumpkin outline from that leopard text. So this one would cut beautifully. I'd be able to put my my squares here, my registration marks, as sometimes I like to call them, and I'd be, I'd be good to go. So um, that is definitely what you want to do when you're doing something a little bit more intricate like that. The <coughs> next files I purchased were from Damsel in Digital. Um, this is a fairly new shop with only a few um, listings up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you what those files look like. Okay, I'm going to close out of here. And right off the jump, I can tell that she probably is not working on the right size artboard. You can see the width and height is 8.5 by 11-ish. Um, so if I could recommend anything, it would be to change artboard to 12 by 12 because that's what we're cutting from when we're using these machines. Um, it looks like this is a compound path because I cannot ungroup any of the text. So if I click on send, hopefully everything is welded. It is. Unfortunately, I had to change my, um, artboard size, but, uh, everything here is welded. Beautiful. So that's what we like to see. I'm just going to click on send here. You can see the same issue with the artboard. So I do recommend getting a larger artboard if possible. And just from looking at this, it looks like everything is welded very well. So this will work great. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to get into some designs by Pillow Jolie. And this is a pretty newish shop, 2019. Okay. 31 uh, listings in total. Looks like there's a mix of sublimation and SVG. So we'll go ahead and see how these are going to send out. This is a pretty intricate layered uh, SVG design. Um, again, 8.5 by 11 artboard. What is happening here? I'm going to make this bigger. If I can give you any advice, make sure your artboards just match up with the what people are going to be using. Because this can be frustrating, um, at least for me. If I click on ungroup, whoo, okay, uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so, okay, okay, I'm liking this. It looks like she compound pathed all of the colors that go together. Let's see if all the blacks go together. Oh, boom, this is good. Okay, so when I click on send, this should all cut separately. I'm not worried about this. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's what we love to see. Ooh, boom, boom, boom. Phenom. Uh, you know, the good thing about that is this should open up very great in, in the Cricut software. Uh, great job. Not a lot of people do that. Um, 
Wow, yeah, boom, boom. Let's see if I can ungroup that further. Uh, I can't. Yeah, that was a great job. Okay, so that was a fantastic job on the Amyawaka uh, listing. And I wouldn't have any issues cutting that. Now, this boss lady listing, we'll see if we got the same thing going on here. I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to drag the black. Okay, this is just completely straight up layered. So this probably wouldn't cause too many issues. Let's see what it looks like when I click on send. Only because um, you put straight color behind it, right? So when you zoom in here, it's not really cutting anything that it's not supposed to cut. So I would say that that's okay. Um, the good thing about it too is that when you take this away, it's also cutting, I guess, the gold. You don't really need that gold under Lady. Um, but aside from that, this is another fantastic job. Uh, you can also take this and you can do the subtract all function. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my kids in the background. They're high on sugar. Um, if you move it, then that's what you'll get, right? So you could you could do something like that too. Just keep that in mind. Um, but again, it's another good uh, good go on that one. Good job. The uh, next one that I'm going to go through <laughs> is from uh, Isetta Rose, and it's a she ha is a fairly new shop, and uh, has some embroidery, some SVGs, and some digital downloads. So still building that shop up. I thought this was kind of a cute file. Oop. So I got stuff that's already ungrouped. Okay, I can see here that there could be some issues, but we'll go ahead and click on send and see what that looks like. So I'm going to tell you what right now. This fish, fishy fishy, is going to be stupid hard to cut um, because there's so many details in there. Um... The other thing too is you want to make sure that that I is subtract, do that subtract all function here where the line is, or you're going to have a cut right through your letters. Okay. Um, so if people aren't catching this before they go cut, that's going to be an issue. You're, we're going to run into the same thing when we go over this in Cricut Design Space. So um, keep that in mind. Other than that, everything else is welded and it looks good. So great job. I would just make sure that this, uh, these lines are are situated the way that they need to be so okay cool I'm gonna close out of that one good job now this is an SVG that I'm a little bit nervous about there's a lot going on here I'm gonna click on it uh, I'm gonna click on ungroup and see what happens I'm nervous oh god there's so much we got a white background a border a very split up lemon I'm never going to ever cut that little piece out there unless I'm making a pretty big sign. But you know what? I think this is going to work. So let's go ahead and click on send. Yeah, man. Everything will cut out and uh, everything will look good. Some of these lines are so tiny, though. I don't know how I'd feel about cutting those out with my machine. I guess if it was, like, really big, then it might work out well. Um... But yeah, this would work. I just am try. I, I always try to be conscious when I'm creating something that I don't make anything too thin because it's a pain in the butt to weed. You're pulling, always pulling something up. But yeah, this is a good. This will work. Good job. Um, and that one was by Lilac and Pine Designs, who has been on since uh, 2020, and has a bunch of different. Uh, designs up here that all look very good so keep up the good work um yeah that's awesome you did a really good job and then the next person I have is Madison May Designs and I'm I don't think I'm nervous about this one I feel pretty good um she has uh this is her design bundle shop she has a lot of good stuff here a lot of cute cute stuff um I looked through earlier um but this was the one she suggested I purchased so I did when I click on this, um, golly gracious, when I ungroup it, it is everywhere. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to click and see how it sands. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about the ungrouping. I will say some of these lines are a little thin and it would be a pain in the butt to, uh, to cut. 
but this 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 will work. This will work. I will say that Silhouette Studio is a lot easier to use when opening up SVG files, so y'all are probably going to hear me grunt and groan a little bit more when we go through uh, Cricut Design Space stuff. <laughs> okay, so yep, this will work really well. So um, I'm impressed, ladies. This was all really, really good work. So um, keep it up. Um, the only, you know, the only few things here and there that you could you do to work on your files. So you just have to be a little bit cognizant enough. Um, but you know, we got six shops here all in different stages of their sales and, um, yeah, that's a really, really, really good job. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this video. I will post the Cricut design space, um, link up above and y'all can see me go through that. We'll call it part two, I suppose. Um, and if you need anything or have any questions, feel free to, uh, comment below or go over to Facebook and ask the question, whatever you so desire. Hopefully this helped y'all out with what is good and what is not good when creating designs. So I'll catch y'all in the next video.